didn't make the bleep. What? 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 Ow. Yeah, uh, hey everybody, I'm Surreal Canine. Last time we did this, and I don't know who's watching at this exact moment in time, so I'm going to say that again in a few minutes. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Hey everyone, I'm Surreal Canine. This is Metroid Prime Trilogy, and last time we did this. 77% is, I guess, pretty good for not knowing where anything actually is. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be quite frank with you guys, I have never beaten Metroid Prime 3. Uh, we've gotten into sort of a late game, but yeah, I've never actually beaten the game. So I make no promises about my percentage here, other than I'm trying to, I'm going to try to get uh, all nine energy cylinders just to see what is up. Or whatever those things are called. The keys that you use in the, on the uh, Valhalla. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Nunchuck is required. I have it. That took a while. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. So this game also has achievements. Uh, there's one achievement in particular that is uh, I have just always struggled to get. So um, I don't know. I'm not gonna try. <laughs> But we might get to see it tonight. Somehow a Dark Samus Cell got into um, this batch of Phazon. That's great. Or it was just a dream. on that uh, glimpse of Samus was decent, I guess. So, hey everyone, we're playing Outer Wilds. <laughs> yeah. 
There's a Norion, and we got a got a Galactic Federation fleet. <clears throat> I definitely need to turn up the volume. Let's see if Samus can remember her security ca Okay, it's right there. Analyzing biohazard scan. Status clear. Chose a various suit online. Lots of motion control gimmicks on this one. <laughs> As expected for an early Wii title, I guess. This came out in, like, I want to say summer of 2007. I didn't have my own copy at launch. Uh, I had just spent all of my money on actually finding a Wii. So, uh, I forget what I was playing at the time. Hunter class gunship. Entering the ship will allow you to recharge, reload, and save. Based on the previous version, the new Hunter class gunship is a fusion of Federation and Chozo technology. Designed by Samus Aran, this one-of-a-kind vessel was custom-built at the Federation shipyard of Ailes III. It is equipped with a powerful Chozo biotech computer that can interface with Aran via a command visor unit. The ship contains a mobile energy recharge system, micro factories designed to produce ammunition, and an advanced medical bay. How much money must Samus have to be able to design her and have built her own ship? <laughs> sure, whatever you say, dude. Morphology. Federation Marines. Standard Galactic Federation military personnel. Trained for combat situations. Federation Marines wear advanced suits of powered armor, allowing them to use potent weapons and resist heavy damage in battle. Few can match them in combat. Fleet Mechanic. One of the many mechanics who maintains and repairs equipment. Fleet mechanics are responsible for maintaining and prepar repairing all Federation equipment. Because of the vast number of devices and vehicles the Federation utilizes, skilled mechanics are highly sought after and often overpaid. Galactic 
fact that Federation crates have a complex lock system but are lightly armored. Galactic Federation crates are used to store basic supplies. Because they are lightly armored, the crates are unable to withstand basic weapon fire. Destroy them to discover their contents. Uh, let's not do that in front of the Marines. <laughs> Samus is a professional. GF Heavy Cargo Truck. Use the transport equipment and vehicles throughout the ship. Heavy Federation crates are very durable and withstand most impacts. Heavy Galactic Federation crates are often used to store ammunition and energy supplies. These units are made of very durable metals. Only heavy weapons and explosives can destroy them. Yeah, I missed the thing. <coughs> Landing beacon. These beacons mark locations where your ship can land. Landing beacons will appear only in locations where your ship can land. Automated sensors detect whether hostilities or obstructions are nearby, and the beacons will retract until the area is free of all hazards. When the beacons are extended and blinking, you may use a command visor to summon your ship. Oh, command visor is offline. Okay. I did not hear what that said. This pad initiates the training drones the Federation Marines use for weapons training. Mechanoid Training Drone, used by GF military forces as targets in weapons training. A training drone is used in all branches of the GF military. They are designed to improve hand-eye coordination and accuracy. One popular training exercise is to score as many consecutive hits on a drone as possible. Gambling on shooting contests involving train drones is frowned upon, but fairly popular throughout the GF Armed Forces. You can get two achievements. First for getting 10 hits in a row, and then 20. I'm probably not going to be able to pull that off because it's been a long time. Stiletto Class Fighter. The newest of the GF fighters is used throughout the fleet. Let's try it. Six hits isn't bad. <clears throat> Cargo bay doors, yeah, doors are closed and locked from this side. Nearby control terminal is offline. Control terminal operates the nearby cargo bay doors. Control terminal is offline. Galactic Federation door. Weapon fire can disrupt the energy shield and open the door. This seems like a waste of ammo to me. All Federation doors are designed with a low-level energy shield to prevent accidental activation. <laughs> Shooting the energy shield will activate and open the door. It's a very silly Metroid trope, but here we go. Blue energy shields can be disrupted by weapon fire of any type. Male Fleet Trooper. Federation Navy Specialists. Untrained for combat situations. <coughs> Fleet Troopers are the backbone of the Navy, often ignored in favor of the gallant Federation Marines. Their work isn't always dangerous and is rarely glamorous. Most are specialists and possess a great deal of knowledge. <coughs> Display images detailing the current status of one of the docked fighters. Projector is currently displaying all conveyor routes throughout the battleship. Display images showing a status overview on the docked fighter squadrons. Female Fleet Trooper.
Same entry. We are a gender equal logbook. <laughs> These control terminals are often used in the training of new recruits. Access ramps to upper f access ramps to upper floor retracted and appear to be malfunctioning. Terminal operates the access ramp control switch located above the station. Yeah, not the best animation of a human I've seen, but this is a game from 2007. Um, you know, two GameCubes duct taped together. Very silly tutorial area. Access ramps upper floor and extended and now locked into place. Why were they retracted to begin with? The emergency evacuation exits for an Olympus class ship are all marked on this map. It's good to uh, have posted in a public place that you can actually climb up the ramp to. Schematic detail in the Griffin class frigate using an escort vessel to larger ships. Halberd class turret. Automated turret that tracks targets. Quick movements can evade targeting. The GMX-04 Halberd class turret replaces the dated Growler turret. It is an effective point defense system for most security zones. It is lightly armored and nimble targets can evade its tracking system. Conveyor control terminals are used to route fires through the areas of the GFS Olympus. Ares class transport is used to drop marines into combat zones. Monitor displays the locations of all docked spacecraft inside the GFS Olympus. Status report of the GFS Olympus shows all systems online and operating. Systems diagnostic of one of the docked frigates shows it is in need of repair. This station displays a conveyor routing of all docked Stiletto class fighters. Blast Shield Lock Engage is invulnerable to even the heaviest of weapon fire. Blast Shields are invulnerable to all types of weapon fire. Some are engaged when hostiles are detected and will only open once the threat has been eliminated. Others may remain shut and force you to find an alternate route. Security lock control pad. Access code input required to unlock nearby door. Do we know the code? Perhaps not. Information terminal online. Access code may be obtained by interacting with the station. That is our number used once. 13576. Hunter Gore, capable of, capable of merging cybernetic body into larger mechanisms. Gore is a cybernetic bounty hunter capable of merging his body into larger mechanisms. The most common of these is his armor suit, which doubles as a gunship and provides him with a formidable combat arsenal. The merges are often accompanied by a shift in personality, replacing his normally calm demeanor with an aggressive attitude. He demonstrates a high proficiency with all things mechanical and is often called upon for missions requiring computer infiltration or manipulation.
Terminal is used to alert emergency personnel in case of a contaminated subject. Scanning stuff. A record of all previous security scans is stored and accessed from this terminal. Terminal is used to control a biohazard scanner that is used in the scanning procedure. This terminal registers each individual who passes through the security checkpoint. The data stored in this terminal is encrypted and impossible to identify. Containment door controls are manually activated through this terminal. Containment door controls have been activated. Approach and operate to open the door. Motion control gimmicks! Oh, that's just our uh, ID number with the Federation, huh? Analyzing biohazard scan. Status clear. Shows a virus suit online. We've already done one of these. Galactic Federation data file 88001 Olympus class battleship. <clears throat> the Olympus class battleship is the first Federation capital ship designed to use an onboard Aurora unit. They are the flagships of the fleets they serve in, usually commanded by an officer of flag rank. Battleships of this class have smaller crews than most ships of similar size due to the presence of the Aurora unit. The space saved and crew support is used for more battle systems. The enormous vessels are powered by fuel gel, making a scarce commodity of extreme value to the Federation military. Instead of, you know, something like nuclear or phase on power. Instead, we use high explosives. Terminal provides a mean to communicate with users on a GFS Olympus network. I'm sorry, but this requires my full attention. Yeah, fair enough, dude. <laughs> Console operates nearby security systems. A unique passcode is required to gain access. This station controls nearby blast doors, but can only be used during an emergency. Terminal has been locked. Only authorized personnel can access this terminal. Hand scanner. Terminal is online, ready to receive input. Life si lift, eh, lift system is inactive. Only will use elevator in its current state. Don't shoot the thing. Who do you think you are? Reen Cold Steel? Hello in there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <coughs> Ship's tactical station engaged. Standby protocols initiated. All troopers to ready stations. Defense system station active. All shield in standby mode. All troopers to ready stations. This is the astrogation station. The astrogator plots courses for the GFS Olympus at this console. Gunnery station active and online. St station controls heavy weapons. Targeting systems on standby. Same thing. Station controls beam weapons. Oh, never mind. 
You're not the same thing. Station configured for helm officer. The ship's helmsman steers the GFS Olympus from his console. Yes, you can help me. I have no idea where I'm going. Security doors locked shut. Only authorized personnel are permitted inside the AU chamber. Yeah, fair enough. Wouldn't want to uh, game over after the walking all the way through this shit. Really, guys? Donk. 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 What's this? Is this, this locked? Yeah. Ultra Energy Unit. Large energy unit. Small energy unit. Save station. Enter here to save your game and fully replenish your energy. Hey Gilgamesh, how you doing? I am doing pretty good. This is my first time playing uh, Prime 3 in years, and uh, I might actually try to beat the game this time. Oh man, I can imagine. I have a Wii U to play it on, so uh, I'm I'm good. <laughs> oh, you can see uh, Samus's reflection in the scan visor. Objective complete. Yeah. Good thing you uh, gave your supercomputers an immune system, I guess. <laughs>
Oh, so it's a computer virus, not a biological virus. You gotta specify these things. <laughs> Any objections, lady? Emergency! Projector allows Aurora Unit 242 to communicate with those inside the meeting area. Defense systems activated. All shields operating at full power. All troops report to stations. Emergency condition red. Yes, uh, Metroid Prime or Metroid Two takes place after the Prime games, and they go in sequential order after that, except for Other M, which takes place uh, in between three and four. If you are uh, of the opinion that <laughs> Other M is canon, Sam has just had a real bad day after Metroid Prime, th or after Metroid, th after Super Metroid, I guess. <sighs> oh, jeez. Fleet Admiral Dane, commander of the GFS Olympus, the flagship of the GF Starfleet. <coughs> Fleet Admiral Caster Dane is known for his utmost dedication to protecting the Federation from its enemies. He is stern and aggressive and has a strong dislike for space pirates. Rumor has it they orphaned him at an early age, an act he still seeks to avenge. Can we get out? No. Gun down. Uh, high space pirates. Pirate militia. Expendable infantry units. Lightly armed and armored. The pirates have not enhanced all of their fighting forces. They continue to use militia units in battle. These groups are made up of slaves and criminals and do not receive the phase on enhancements given to regular army troopers. They are surprisingly obedient to the upper caste within the pirate military. Rumor has it that disobedient militia members often find themselves as dinner for regular army troopers. What the heck, space pirates? Oh, we're getting some help from the turrets. Cool. Alright, where am I going? This way, I guess. Do I have a missile launcher? I don't. You okay, my dude? I guess he's okay. Space pirate boarding pod. These light craft are used to pierce the bulkheads of larger ships. Pirate boarding po pods are crude even by their standards. They are composed of an aged propulsion drive, a cramped crew transport module, and a nose cone packed with high explosives. 
The pilot guides the pod toward the target ship, then rams it, detonating the explosives on impact in an attempt to breach the hull. Hey there, Jadian Radiator. If the breach isn't created, the crew it was in exits the pod. Of course, mishaps occur. Sometimes the explosives go off prematurely, exposing the crew to vacuum. Other times, the detonation fails to occur, leaving the pod to bounce off the target's hull. The shielding between explosives and crew is substandard, and often fails to protect the crew from the explosion. Pod's nickname is Space Coffin is well earned. What the heck? Crawl Tank, small mobile weapon platform. Lightly armored, well armed. Crawl tanks are mobile, ground-based defense drones, but they are easily destroyed by standard weapon fire. They can be equipped with different cannons, including a, including a phase-on beam system. They are not built for sustained combat, and are better suited for light patrol and security roles. I'm hoping I can save them all, though it seems like I've, uh, I might have received the, uh, the green credits for saving all of them before, so we're not going to actually find out. Boomies! Got that quickly. Did I save him? Yeah. Took the battery. <clears throat> Are those regular troopers? Uh, two of them may, might be. Get that battery! Grading is secured shut and preventing access to maintenance tunnel. Armored Pirate Militia. Expendable Armored Infantry Units. Susceptible to explosive attacks. Members of the Armored Pirate Militia have been granted lightweight armor suits for combat use. While this provides some additional resistance to beam weapons, they are still vulnerable ex to explosive attacks. Members of the Armored Pirate Militia are mostly inept soldiers who have yet to die in combat. Where are you at, my dude? I see you. All right. Shouldn't you, you know, be trying to escape with the battery instead of just running around? Did I get him? I guess I got him. Portable GF energy cell. The unit must be returned to restore room power. The first of nine, except not really. <laughs> this one we don't get to take with us. Gotta just put it back. Like so. Oh, dude. Metroid Prime in VR would be sick. Uh, until then, you have Half-Life Alex, I guess. And what's with all the crawl tanks? Graphics only possible on the Nintendo Wii. These aren't crawl tanks. Crawl mine. Mobile explosive drone. Detonates on contact. Crawl mines are not terribly bright and rely on suicide strikes as their main form of attack. They were designed to patrol small areas such as ventilation shafts and maintenance tunnels and blow them up. Though relatively harmless alone, they can be dangerous in large numbers.
in here to pick up. It doesn't look like it though. So let's just get out. Yeah, Rondus. Freeze that dude. Like, it ain't no thing. Also, energy tank. Very nice to get early on. Particle accelerator in their waste disposal system. Scarred debris appears to be made up from broken machinery and damaged ship parts. Security override enabled. Lock has been deactivated. Disposal system on standby. And uh, isn't it this at least a little bit like a scene in A New Hope? <laughs> Device, bomb slot, unit is active and ready for use. Use a morph ball bomb to operate. Why do we, why do we have one of these on the ship? <laughs> Get in. Thank you. Airlock cycling. And Samus was never seen again. Oh wait, there she is. Well, that was exciting. I guess. Yeah, we're going this way. Alright, we're going to have to move fast. Oh, come on. What the heck? An explosive blast made damage the obstructions. These guys are just more militia units. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Need to find missiles somewhere. Are you scannable? Yeah. Stiletto fighters sustain moderate hull damage. Repairs have not yet been completed. Here's a missile tank or missile launcher. Why didn't Samus bring hers on board? I mean, maybe she wasn't allowed to. Service report shows that this frigate is beyond repair and is scheduled for scrap. All GFS Olympus weapon systems are online and operating at peak performance. Schematics pinpoint key repairs necessary before a ship may resume operations. Hydraulic lifts built to support GF fighters of various models for repairs and maintenance. What is shooting me? Not that it really matters. Piston systems provide the necessary pressure to operate the repair lifts. Dude. Oh, I thought you were, uh, thought you were special. No, let me in! Target connected into walkway control systems. Fire to each target to extend bridge. Alright, well I saved that dude, I guess.
Aeromine, flying anti-personnel units. Drops shield to fire weaponry. <clears throat> Aeromines suffer from a design flaw. Their shield and beam weapon units use the same power source, allowing only one to function at a time. This exposes the unit to damage when it fires at enemies. Aeromines were originally designed to take the role of sentry for space pirates, but have since been put to use in combat as well. Because of the initial design flaw, these units do not pose much of a threat. After the executions of the first design team, the new pirate designers swore to correct this flaw with great haste. the physical disc. I might need it. Let me save. Thank you. Maybe, except I don't have an optical drive. Oh, that guy's super dead. <laughs> don't want the ship to get damaged, I guess. Anyway, first boss, let's go. Berserker Lord. Phaseite plating on its head can only be destroyed by projectiles it fires. Berserker Lords are high res uh, highly resistant to damage. Their shoulders are the only unprotected area vulnerable to standard weapon fire. Their main defense lies in their head-mounted Phaseite plating, which can only be destroyed by projectiles it fires. Berserker Lords are a desperate measure designed to exploit Phazon as much as possible. The few Berserker Knights that survive the highest level of corruption are promoted to Lord status. Lords are distinguished by their ornate Phaseite plating and the Phazon reserves they carry on their backs. Can I get behind you and, uh... No. came back, okay. Okay, Phaseite is down. Let's take you down. Boom, baby. <clears throat> yeah, I built this computer myself, and I just didn't think I needed an optical drive. I get all my games off Steam anyway. If PS3 and 4 emulation was a thing, maybe I would, uh... Maybe I would get an optical drive, but... Uh, there aren't even that many PS3 games I want to play that badly. Sonic Unleashed, maybe.
I already beat Nier, and I have no intention of going back. Same thing with this Gaia D2. Nino Kuni is already on Steam. Uh, Skate 3 is... I don't know what the deal is with Skate 3, actually. Yeah, but, like, I have a working 3DS. The only reason I'd uh, emulate one is... To uh, stream a game because I hardware mods for the 3s are expensive. Anyway, let's save, enter the ship, and get ye water. I must get ye flask. <clears throat> oh, I have water here. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, my 3DS is also uh, fairly old at this point. It's a new 3DS XL. I got it in like late 16 or early 17, I think. flashing. Alright, are we navigating? We are. Off to Norion. Docking hub Alpha. Loading screens! They're a thing. <laughs> Although that is a pretty rad uh, re-entry animation. Dude, I was scanning that. <laughs> Ship classified as GFS and Kidu, a Griffin class frigate. Most of her crew are on shore leave. Mark 12 Hydra multi turret. The turret has two rail cannons ready. Units targeting system engaged. Security system engaged. Door locks are now active. Destroy all locks to open door. You'd think somebody would just unlock the door for me. Grapple Lasso. Planet Norion data file. Though located on the fringe of the Federation, the planet Norion is of great importance. 
The military maintains a strong presence in the sector, and the base on Norion is often the first line of defense against enemies that operate outside of GF space. Originally a barren orb incapable of sustaining life, a sophisticated terraforming project designed by Aurora Unit 486 has turned Norion into a hardy forest world. Where did they get the... Where do they get the plant seeds and the carbon dioxide? I mean, not that terraforming isn't cool and all, but, um... Yeah. Lock onto the grapple point and cast Nunchuck forward to fire. Pull Nunchuck back quickly to grapple. <coughs> elevator systems online. Direct interaction required to initiate elevator operation. Not exactly a uh, Wii Motion Plus material, is it? I do have one of those somewhere. Played Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword with it, like way back in 2014 ish. Get, get out of here. All right, all. Get ye face. Mounted blast shield. A strong pull should be enough to rip the lock from its brackets. <laughs> I mean, that does feel pretty satisfying, but it's also a cheesy motion gimmick. This guy had a bad day. Bio signs negative. Target has suffered s numerous energy burns. Energy source phase on. Security access panel engaged. Hinges appear fragile and may break if pulled hard enough. Object scan complete. Vent chamber hatch is locked. Use manual override to open hatch. Security system in effect. Eliminate enemy presence to restore panel operations. Circuit board damage. Welding repairs necessary to restore door operations. Subject is flatlined. Cause of death, heart failure due to extreme cranial trauma. Ow. Wood! Tarid is deceased. Appears to have suffered fatal wounds from friendly fire. Oof. System analysis complete. Power conduit B is inactive. Start generator to charge conduit. Power conduit C is inactive. Blast door is made of pure Jovian steel. Controls are offline. Impervious to your weaponry. Why would you bring steel all the way here here from Jupiter? Seems uh also impractical. Does Jupiter even have that much carbon and iron? <laughs> Disc. Thank you. Debris is covering a passage. These pieces can be pulled out of the way with enough force. Conduit A is inactive. Yoink. Where's this go? Somewhere, but. Eh. 
Control tower doors are locked shut until all generators can be brought back online. Okay. Oh, another energy tank. Okay. <clears throat> Air circulation pistons are activated and on automatic. Pump interval at five seconds. Those guys just had a bad day. Red Blast Shield is invulnerable to most weapon systems. Explosive damage may break it. Red Blast Shields contain high amounts of brimstone within their metals and are easily damaged by explosive blasts. Once shattered, the Blast Shield will remain destroyed. The map! Data file RU-902, Hunter Rundus. Subject is a native of Phrygis, a mode of planet Best 3 known primarily for ice mining. The Phrygisian ability to manipulate and generate ice has come in handy as Subject's career as a bounty hunter. Intel suggests he enjoys hunting, to the point where he keeps trophies from all the targets he successfully captured or killed in his career. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant, and considers himself without rival in his field. Hunter Gore. Subject is a veteran of the Liberation War of Wotan 7. Only 6% of Subject's birth body remains. The rest is state-of-the-art cyberware. Despite his career in heavy cybernetic modification, Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Gore is rather gentle and approaches situations logically, but is not the most skilled of fighters. Intel suggests he even has a sense of humor. Subject has often championed the weak, poor, and downtrodden, working for free or giving bounty money earned to the victims of his targets. Subject can merge his cybernetic body into larger mechanisms, including gunships and fighter craft. This merging will alter Gore's personality, and he will become incredibly aggressive and violent. Data indicates a high proficiency with computer infiltration and manipulation, high level of mechanical empathy with artificial intelligence. Hunter Gandrada. <coughs> Subject Homeworld Unknown. Possesses metamorphic ability can, similar to the biomorphs of Jovia 12. Can assume the form and abilities of most living things, including bioforms considerably larger than the subject. Su scans are unable to determine subject's age, but psyche eval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that bounty hunting is akin to a sport for her, one she enjoys considerably. Subject perceives the veteran hunter Samus Aran as her chief rival, a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. Need more water. Well, that did not fall where I wanted it to fall. The lore files are really interesting to read in Metroid games.
Duh. Ow. What about you? Jump mine. Anti personnel unit. Rises in air and explodes once damaged. The jump mine was developed by space pirates as a cheap alternative to an armed trooper. The jump mine scans its surroundings until it detects an enemy target, then it triggers a small thruster, jumping a set distance in the air. Once launched, its weapon pods engage, saturating the local area with fire. It explodes afterward to prevent use by enemy forces. I mean, sure, you know, if they're cheap enough to make, you can just fill a place with them and then forget about it. <laughs> Ambush! <coughs> just pirate militia, huh? No! Not just pirate militia. Pirate Trooper! Battle ready and vicious, crudely enhanced by Phazon. The Space Pirate military forces continue to use Phazon, including a new Phazon enhancement system. Basic armament includes an assault rifle and energy scythe, both powered by Phazon. EMP grenades are often employed against power armored foes. A new dash jet system provides increased mobility. Dude, dodge my missile. Gotcha. Space Pirate ATC. Well armored transport. Forward vent is vulnerable. The Space Pirate armored tactical carrier is surprisingly well built and armored. A forward mounted heat vent is its only vulnerable spot. Tri beam cannons help the unit deal out damage while on missions. Designed for rapid transit to and from hot zones, this unit is not designed for long term engagements. It has a relatively small fuel supply, a sacrifice made for heavier armament and armor. The uh, guys don't care much about logistics, do you? Shield Pirate Militia. Battle shield deflects attacks that can be pulled with grapple beam. Some members of the Pirate Militia have been granted use of regular Army Trooper equipment. This unit has been given the portable battle shield. Its portability is its weakness, however. Remove it from the Pirate's grip to eliminate its primary defense system. Shield is also susceptible to phazon based attacks. Don't have any of that. Yoink. Down it goes. Whoop! Arrow troopers. Jetpack provides aerial mobility. Homing attacks recommended. Arrow troopers are dangerous foes, but their lack of armor leaves them vulnerable to explosive blasts. A weakness also lies in the jetpack. Igniting it will allow the pack to be separated from the pilot. They use twin remote attack pods to engage targets. The attack pods are capable of using a particle cannon or helix missile pod. You can tap their phase on power units to warp from point to point. Rude. Just uh, pop one of the pods, I guess. If I can. What the do? Okay, I guess I can't. And I'm out of missiles. There's the missiles. Yeah, take that. Are they coming back? Uh, yep. getting hit all over the place here. Boomies! Uh-oh. More dudes. <laughs> Down he goes. Yep. Uh. 
airship slice. Show off. Command visor. Now I can summon our ship. It's a portable save point. Of course, we all know uh, retro compensated by just reducing the number of uh, save points built into the world. <laughs> Not that that effectively matters, considering we're going to be going from planet to planet. So being able to call our ship to a bunch of places is very nice. Game has been saved. Energy and ammo fully replenished. Alright, let's go. Woo, lovely bitty boy! Jump. Blast shields and vulnerable weapons fire. Shoot the security optics to enable removal. Whoop! Hey guys. Oh no, sabotage! What's this? Activation panel is offline. Return generator to down position and touch this panel to activate. Power production at zero. Generator operation suspended. Restore all generator systems. Jolly Roger drone, fast and fragile aerial drone, fires bursts of phase on energy. The Jolly Roger drone is designed for quick aerial maneuvers, but this comes at the cost of survivability. The fragile armor of the unit is vulnerable to weapon fire of any type. The Jolly Roger is based on Federation tech, but is going to considerably upgraded. Powered by phase on, the mechanoid can be a serious threat in battle, especially in groups. Okay. Oh, there's more.
rid of this debris, I guess. This debris is blocking the manual override. A strong blast can destroy the obstructions. Give me some energy. These are manual override controls for the plasma generator. Approach to operate controls. I mean, double A batteries are pretty cheap. I'll just scan complete. <sighs> this is a FedTech plasma generator. Hune is currently offline. Security hatch locked shut. The hatch will remain in place until the generator is online. That seems uh, poorly thought out. Objective complete. Balance, are you reading me? Something big is happening up here. What in the name of... That's a thing. Got plenty of time into ooh. Federation PED Marine. Advanced armor suit is equipped with phase on enhancement device. <clears throat> the Federation has created a system that utilizes phase on to increase the power of the armor worn by GF Marines. When while active, the phase on unit enhances the attack and defense systems of the armor suit. Save time. Let me in. Show off. What? I guess I got that.
Plus shields and vulnerable weapons fire. Destroys power links to enable removal. White Blast Shield is vulnerable to most weapon systems. Alloy is weak to extreme cold. White Blast Shields are extremely resilient against all but cold-based attacks. The alloys within the shield will shatter immediately if exposed to extreme cold. Once broken, the Blast Shield will remain destroyed. Wait, what? Which way am I supposed to be going? There with the morph ball. Yeah. Possibly the, well, I don't know if this is the hardest achievement, though it feels that way. Hi, Ridley! Oops, I bumped into him! There is no flawless escape. Ow. He faked me out. I kind of wish the save station had come before that uh, that 
Ridley sequence rather than after. Just to make it easier to get the achievement instead of having to reload and hike all the way back through Norion. I mean, maybe the path from the landing site was shorter. But yeah, not an achievement I want to even try to get. reliable uh, controls, huh? <laughs> I'm so used to Prime 1 where you just scan everything. Got one of these, huh? Oops. Who designed this generator? <laughs> oh, hi, Ridley. Oh, time for a fight. Morphology, Meta Ridley, durable armor skin protects body, fires plasma attacks from mouth. Tardis body is covered with incredibly durable armor skin, making it difficult to damage. All parts of the body are protected except for the mouth, where Meta Ridley fires his plasma-powered weaponry. Observing target may reveal additional target points. 
Target will use powerful plasma-based range attacks along with potent melee strikes. Ow. Grab me. And he dropped me. comes. Ow. Get over here. Grab me again. We're halfway there. Yeah, stay dead this time. It kind of hurt my hand a bit. <laughs> Oh. 
I mean, we could hope it just burns up on re-entry. You said that already, 242. Hello. Why me? Get Rundus to do it. Or Gore, he was like right there, wasn't he? Uh, right, gotta go this way. Uh, yeah, I just beat him. Yeah, whatever. This way, I think. Made it. Hunter Gandreda, metamorphic bioform able to mimic numerous enemy units in battle. Gandreda possesses the metamorphic ability to assume the form and abilities of other creatures. This talent has led many to seek her out for stealth and reconnaissance missions, despite her powerful combat capabilities. Details on the subject's origins and age are unknown, but her unique traits have made her a sought-after hunter for missions. Hunter Rundus possesses the ability to generate and manipulate ice. Rundus is capable of generating and manipulating ice. This trait is common among the inhabitants of the moon Frigis, but Rundus is one of the few who have used this ability for bounty hunting. I mean, possibly. Who knows? Subject is known for getting results, but considers himself without peer. His arrogant demeanor has led him to mainly seek solo missions and rarely works with others. Right! Samus should have aimed for the head.
one month later. Scan visor. Cast from hit points. I don't see a single problem with this. It totally didn't kill Tella. Injecting one energy tank of Phazon into the PD systems will activate hyper mode. Suit acquired. Yeah. I would not have been surprised if the medic was a unique scan. But whatever. GF Mark VI Biopod, status normal. Unit is used to perform medical procedures of extreme difficulty. <coughs> Phazon Enhancement Device. The Phazon Enhancement Device is designed to harness the energy of Phazon minerals originally discovered on Ether for a new Federation weapon system. It is being tested by a GF Marine Battalion stationed in the Norion system. Marines can initiate a supply an energy siphon from a supply of phazon carried in a backpack into their armor suits. This then allows them to temporarily enhance the exoskeletal and weapon systems of their armor suits. To date, no Marines have displayed signs of phazon sickness. Phazon. Phazon is a substance of extragalactic origin. It is a highly radioactive ore with extreme mutagenic properties. It has certain biological qualities, including the ability to reproduce itself. Exposure to phazon often affects the brains of sentient beings, causing erratic, destructive behavior. 
It is also a potent source of energy, surpassing even fuel gel and pure alpha potential. It must be handled carefully as it can cause phase on sickness if used incorrectly. Oh yeah, the energy units are replaced with phase on units now. Mounted panel is invulnerable to standard weapons, but can be damaged by phase on based attacks. <coughs> Mark 13 Twin Hydra Multi Turret. Unit has four rail cannons ready. Unit's targeting system is engaged. Save now. Access doors can only be opened by authorized GF personnel. Aurora unit tanks serve as the heart of all Federation battleships, unable to see through liquid solution. Communication platform allows users to interact with the Aurora unit. Use terminal to talk to 242. Just cleaning up someone else's mess, huh? All right, we have our mission. Seems like as good a time as uh, seems like as good a time as any to. Uh, and the stream, save it for, I don't know, Tuesday maybe. <laughs> Since we won't be playing Trails of Creation because Xanoth is going to be busy. Go 
good luck, Samus. Or we're going, we won't need luck. Good thing we got the stuff where we had a chance to get the stuff. I hope. I don't think we actually saved, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to go to. Go to Brio and just do the thing. Cliffside Air Dock. Reptile dudes, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I've been streaming for about two hours. It's probably time to, uh, stop for now but this has been a good time uh, feel a little better about this game than I do about Prime 2 I guess you know Prime 2 just drag things down a lot on the combat side I think all right I'll be back with Fox tomorrow on his channel. You can see the uh, Discord link there, the, down there. I'll be tra playing Trails of Cold Steel 4. Finally going to the, uh, to the place to rescue the dude. I might be back with more this Tuesday, uh, or I might just take the night off. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, good night, guys. Thanks for watching.